What's up guys, it's your boy NLG Don Back again with another video Today video, I'll be showing you guys how to get free from dreads But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notification on So y'all be the first one to watch my videos Also comment below what else y'all want from me, like what type of videos y'all want from me Because I'm doing this YouTube for y'all, so all y'all gotta do is just Go down below, comment what video y'all want, and I might just do it So yeah And also follow me on Instagram at NLG Don and yeah, so let's get right into the video. Alright, now I'm going get into the video of how to get free from dreads. To get free from dreads, you could use method. You have to use a user method. Or you could do nothing. And when I say nothing, I mean like you just wash your hair and that's it. But to get free from dreads, you could use like a towel. You could use a sponge. You could use a brush. You could use a crochet needle, you could use your hand, you could use locking gel. You could use a lot of stuff to get free from dreads. But the method that I use to get free from dreads was a sponge. And to, to get like free from dreads with a sponge, you have to keep doing it uh, like a long time. Like, a, like a, a little while. Because it need to get a section. And a sponge, I feel like when I try to get free from dreads with a sponge, it's kind of probably like, it's, it's probably easy, but it's hard at the same time because sometimes the sponge is just make your hair just look the same. That's why I stopped using it after a while. But using the towel, I feel like it's the best, the best method because it gets to your root and it like connects to your hair and twists it. That's what I, I used and that's why my hair probably look like this. But yeah, and that's when I was using the towel. So I feel like if you use the towel, it's probably better, but the sponge... I feel like it works on short hair, just like the brush. The brush, it works on sh short hair too. You can't really use a brush when you starting off with like with an apple to get free from dreads. So the brush, you when short hair, and the uh, sponge is like when your hair is short, but it's long enough to like use it, you know? And the towel is like, you can use it whenever. You can use it with short hair, long hair, it don't really matter. And you could also use like, locking gel to speed up your process to get free from dreads faster because if you want like free free from dreads like to be like locked faster you can help i mean you can use locking gel to help you out you know so yeah you can use locking gel to help you out when in any of the, pro, the um, process like you can use it whenever and it's gonna lock up your hair faster and so i think you should use locking gel to help your process speed up faster that would be the best way if you don't like like waiting for your hair to lock and also, you can try to use like different type of styles, like to like lead up to like free from dreads. Like you, you could two strand twist your hair, then take it out and just let it like that. Then it's gonna turn to free from dreads. Just don't don't touch it. Just keep it just like that. Two strand twist and take it out and just keep it like that. You probably could do a little stuff to it so you can help it like form your way or lock faster. But yeah, you could just do a two strand, a two strand twist, and just take it out like that. But yeah, also you could use like a crochet needle. Like you could just poke at your hair back and forth, put pull it into like the root. Keep doing that till you get to the top, and then it should be up to lock. And then after it locks, you just let it be. So you let the roots form like an afro, and just let your hair go. Or if you don't want to do that, you could just keep doing it. Like every time your your new your your new hair grow at the bottom, you just keep crocheting crocheting it. But that's only if you you want to do it. So you can do it either way. You can just do it the first time, don't do it at all, or just keep doing it through your whole process. And also you can use you use nothing. Like when I when I say nothing, I mean like just washing your hair and doing nothing to it. And that's like the free form free form like that's what that's like that's when you want your hair to be like you don't want really to care what your hair look like afterwards because when you just watch your hair do nothing your hair won't be looking crazy like that's that's i don't know it's probably gonna be all clumped together or i don't know but also only if you want it but that's the free form free form look that's only if you don't you want you really want that free form look but not like looking like dress kind of but also like free form but it, it don't look nothing like dress, it's just form or some way. That's only if you want that free form. So all you gotta do is just do nothing and just wash your hair, that's it. Nothing, wash your hair, that's all. Yeah, I think I said all the ways how to get free from dress. 
So I hope y'all enjoy, like, and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the notification and comment below what else y'all want from me. And follow me on Instagram at NLG Dom. And yeah, it's been your boy, NLG Dom. And I'll be back with another video. Peace.